Hello, we are still talking about Trello this week and we are going to look today at the idea of using it to create a project and move yourself along the project. As usual, I am asking you to think of ways that you would use this in your own life, your own working life, your own online tutoring business. So, I'm going to show you here the idea of blog writing. So I have all my sort of checklists and templates and links to different boards, linked to Google Calendar and um, blog lists, etc. Um, on the left hand side. So everything that I would need for reference, I would put on the left hand side. Um, I've got the article categories here. So that's where I would put blogs what colour I would give them. Okay, so that's blah, blah. Hey, people whose blogs I like and have a look at these and would use these for maybe some inspiration, uh, that is where I would use a blog template when I come to write it. I click on it. This is in my Google Drive. Um, and I've got sort of, I, the idea here, introduction, what's the problem, etc. Um and can I yeah and etc so all my checklists and templates are all here and everything I need for writing blogs okay so things that I would maybe add things that I maybe kind of want to put in about myself etc these sort of things stories that I might want to build around I've made a column for here a subject, Facebook Live, Trello video, that's interesting. A seven day challenge, keynote, blah, blah, blah. All these kind of things I've got here. And then here I've got ideas, okay? There are not too many on them, but any idea I have about writing, a uh, blog post, I will put here, okay? So home schooling, that kind of idea. I'll put that there and that would jump up there. So that is for some reason, er, Okay, so that's my idea here. So I take, let's see where I was going to do this homeschooling one. So I take this one here, this card, and I take out the ideas vault and I put it into the first draft. Okay, and so it's now in the first draft and it's down at the bottom. And I would start writing that in a Google document and I would put the link to the Google document there. Okay. And then when I finish the first draft, I move it along and I find an image for it that I'm going to use on my blog post. And I attach the image to the card. Okay, so I will just get uh, this one here. I'll just add that to it. And that's me, got the image and I now need a headline, so I move it along to that bit there. Okay, and I write the headline. Say I leave it, say I leave it for a couple of days, I've got other work to do, I leave it, I come back, what have I to do? Right, I have got this, in fact, I'll just add a quick um, due date. So that's to be done by Sunday, and I'll do that there. I'm gonna add a label here, because it's about home, Homeschooling, uh, da, 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 da. that would come under, what would that come under? Well, systems, I don't think that's right, but anyway, we'll add that label to it there. And I've got a due date there, so I've got that. So that's talking to me, telling me I need to hurry up. Okay, so I, that's not the right one, is it? Not right, yeah, 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 it is. Okay, so that's my card there, and then I move it along. And I want to edit it again, I want another look at it. Okay, and then I move it along to the final draft, and then I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready to upload it to my website. Okay, and that's it there. And then, does anybody need to approve it? If you're working with other people, does anybody need to approve it? They know if they sh if you share this board with them, they know to come in here and check. Um, and then once that's been done, it's to be scheduled to run. And then once you've got it up and running 
you need to promote it on Facebook and email, Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever you do that. And then when you're ready, you move over to the archive. Now, if you're a good online tutor, good at marketing, I mean, you should be writing blog posts regularly. So this is a good board to use for this idea. What else though could you use this for? Creating materials for, for tutoring online, making your online course. What could you use this for? This way of working left to right. I had to think about that there. Okay, so more tre Trello boards to come. I hope you're finding these useful. Comment below, let me know how you're going and I will speak to you soon. Cheers.